I mean, do people with broken backs run around? I don't think so. But, you know, the, the, the cops lie. And, you know, I've had plenty of experiences with them. And many of them have lied about things that had transpired in, in different situations. And, and you know, you, you, you would think uh, maybe uh, it, it was unusual, but no, it goes on all the time. And so uh, you're not going to get any help from them. And these Homeland Security people, um, you know, I could just see some guy in a house with four kids and knows what we know, and and uh, he's going to say no, and they're going to try to cut him off, and he's going to shoot them all. And you're going to see lots of that. Absolutely. As you said, you don't know what is in that shot. And, you know, God only knows. And the people who manufactured it and the Illuminati was behind this whole thing. You know, they want to kill 80% of the people in the world. I mean, that's incredible. And they've said that. So... If you weren't concerned about taking the shot after what I've just told you, you ought to be. Um, here's a question in from Ivan. He says, is U6 a good indicator to be used for unemployment at this time? What Absolutely. Is, what is the actual employment figure? 20.8%. Are we that? Oh. And incidentally, we talked the other day about M4 and M2, uh, M3. M3. Mm -hmm. which is no longer published. And my figures now are down around 5%, between 4.7 and 5% of current and money and credit creation. They're called aggregates also. And um, uh, But uh, the true uh, money supply, the TMS, is still up around 18%, 17%. And so uh, we had a divergence like this back in 2006, 2007, and uh, I switched over then to the TMS and used that until it became aligned again. So I think people are being faked out. And I think the European Central Bank is doing the same thing uh, in order, uh, these two central banks, in order to fake people out and think there's not going to be inflation when there is going to be inflation. Well, that was one of the questions today about the significance of them three falling and the money contracting. Well, it's not. I don't know what the, 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 the government's doing, but they're doing something. And they've done it before. So we keep on our inflationary bent. The only thing that it would do was, would be to stall the inflationary impacts. Yeah, a little, but not a much. A little. Um... The Heritage Foundation Center for Data Analysis released an economic study uh, yesterday regarding the impact the cap and trade system would have on the agriculture community. The study maintains that cap and trade is an energy tax in disguise that will cause farm income to drop dramatically because of higher operating costs. We already have agriculture problems with the weather impact that the system will even further affect this problem. I have the article, I have the facts, I got a link, and it's in Saturday's issue. I just picked it up like he did today. So all of your subscribers will be able to access it if you're on the Internet and you get uh, the International Forecaster uh, by email. The report's too long to put into uh, the uh, hard copy. Uh, you know, i, I got to tell you something very briefly. Uh, and that is that um, uh, we lose money on the hard copy, but we do it anyway. And I haven't raised prices, I don't know, for a couple of years maybe. And I'm going to keep them there. Uh, the the, uh, um, the electronic, the email subscribers actually subsidize uh, the hard copy, but I, you know, uh, and I haven't raised that for a couple of years, as I said. And I, I think they should be willing to do that because, you know, there's thousands of people who get the hard copy. And, uh, you know, they make copies of it and hand it around. And 
You want the message to get out. Uh, you know, this whole thing is philosophically, socially, and politically bent, charged, whatever you want to use, and we got to save our country. And I don't know how much time we got left. It's not much. And so, um, no increases in cost. <laughs> You know, I'm not here to get rich, let me tell you. No one's like ask Melody. We've been together five years. Five years. I've never asked her for a penny. Well, I sent you a penny. Hey, I got a question for you. Just kidding. I got a question for you. You know, when you were talking about the M3 and everything, everybody talks about a deflationary period. You know, nobody is ready to put on the inflation spin. Um, when you talk to farmers and you talk about this cap and trade and everything, I mean, the cost of fertilizer and everything, from what I've been told, this year, I mean, prices are still continuing to rise. They're not falling back. Our food prices, um, you know, our everyday living needs, those prices are increasing. Nothing is being, you know, there is no deflation that is really occurring. I mean, where is the deflation that they see? Well, they see it as an underlying factor for the last six years, but money and credit creation yeah. has offset it. Yeah. So we haven't gotten it, but that means they're going to have to continue to create ever more money and credit in order to overcome deflation. Um, here's a question about the uh, Herod's article stated that a leading Swedish newspaper reported this week that Israeli soldiers are abducting Palestinians in order to steal their organs. They plunder the organs of our sons, read the headline in Sweden's largest daily newspaper. The report quotes Palestinian claims that young men from the West Bank and Gaza Strip had been seized by the Israeli Defense Forces and their bodies returned to the families with missing organs. Are these the organs that the New York rabbis were selling on the market after which they were recently arrested? Probably. But um, I read the story and um, uh, saw it from the Swedish newspaper. And uh, I would assume that um, that it's true. I, I don't think they've had a front-page story like that uh, if it was untrue. And uh, it's tragic. But, you know, um, what was that, Rachel Corey, who tried to stand in front of a Palestinian home that they were bulldozing and they ran over her and killed her? I mean, what, what kind of people do those kind of things? And uh, it's a bad, bad mess over there. And um, all I can say is the, the both sides are at fault. And law, the Lord works in strange ways. Um, the, Argentinian re, the Argentinian reporter who seduced Governor Sanford is a Mossad agent. This was to discredit him as a presidential challenger the next election. Any merit to this? Gee, I couldn't say. I don't know. I mean, you know, journalists I use very frequently... Uh, by Mossad and, and other agencies as well to uh, get information. I mean, you go into a country and, and you put on the, the visa application that you're a journalist and uh, they're all over you. So why are you coming here? What are you going to report on? Uh, let's see your credentials and have you been here before and all kinds of stuff like that. Um. Another question in from Ivan. He's heard that the bailout bubble is supposed to burst sometimes in October and will drag down the rest of the economy. Is this a possibility? I think one or two things are going to happen. The, uh, the first thing is they're going to ask, uh, as I've said in this program many times, I projected two trillion dollars in another stimulus package and I think they can probably get it and, uh, and, and most likely they will and if they don't the banks will lend they'll be forced to or the Fed will force them to lend or the whole system collapses so um, 
uh, they'll get the money. And that's why I'm saying that we're going to go sideways probably for a year and a half, maybe slightly better. And then it's going to fall apart again because I think they'll design the stimulus package, the new one, to come quickly because it's an election year. So you get 70%, you know, maybe 50% of what's left in package number one from the administration. And that's going to be spent next year. And then they're going to throw in another $2 trillion, probably like they did between April and, and the end of the year, or November. And they're going to make that just like the Chinese did. They're going to just load up the economy. That's what they're going to do.